while you're here, go ahead and like and subscribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, everybody? I did a quick uh, Doc Manhattan sketch out of pencil and some Prisma markers again. I uh, wanted to work traditionally and film it because um, it kind of turned out cool the first time and I want to get back to using uh, traditional uh, tools instead of always doing digital art. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, the initial uh, sketch with the pencil, his face was a little wonky. I kind of uh, fixed that in the later stages with the pen um, with just a, a Micron 3 I think it was uh, for some of the outlines. Uh, but that really wasn't the focal point. Uh, the focal point I wanted to, to really have was on the three soldiers that uh, you will see me draw in uh, towards the end and then kind of just have the size and just really kind of to depict when Doc Manhattan is in Vietnam early on during the Watchmen uh, campaign. You know, they're working for the government. And so him and Comedian are in Vietnam and basically fighting with uh, the United States soldiers. And there was a really awesome panel in the in the graphic novel of uh, of the picture that I drew. Uh, that was the reference that I used. And um, really good scene from the movie too which I'll put in right here yeah pretty awesome right I mean just Doc Manhattan being able to manipulate molecules and atoms um, you know so he can grow as big as he wants you know he's, he's pretty he's a pretty OP uh, superhero I mean he can manipulate matter and has like telekinetic powers you know he can transport himself to Mars and create whatever he wants yeah, kind of an OP superhero and he can see into the future pretty much but um really good storyline I, I i loved the movie and i loved the the uh original graphic novel too i mean just the the uniqueness of the storytelling you know from the superhero genre uh watchmen was basically to me was a way better more well done uh civil war you know you had like marvel civil war where they're the you know superhero it, superheroes are outlawed and they they can't you know use their powers or or help anybody. Now that, that's basically Watchmen, but I think Watchmen did it much much better, much more realistic with um, the characters that they used fit the storyline better as well. You know, with Rorschach being kind of like a Batman on steroids as far as uh, like doing whatever needs to be done to for justice. You know, and you had kind of owl owl was kind of like a superhero batman mixture as far as like batman's uh superpower you know su i say superpowers batman's kind of powers mixed with more of like the boy scout attitude of superman you know and then you had comedian who was you know just kind of a, a similar vein um as uh rorschach as just doing whatever needs to be done to to get the the job done but you know you had that cool plot twist that I won't reveal if you guys haven't watched it or seen it uh, but they did it really well in the movies too you know you were kind of thinking the whole time who did it who's the suspect and then you know it turns out to be not what you would expect but I'm enjoying working with the the Prisma markers again I'll probably continue to do some traditional work with those and just kind of keep my uh, traditional muscles uh, firing while I'm working on uh, this digital painting um, for my buddy that's going really well I might add I'm really enjoying the uh, vision that that I'm depicting and uh, the work is you know turning out well slow slow and steady but uh, you know I'm doing it so thanks for watching and peace